high polluter pays investment in r&d and net environmental gain is the theme of today's climate change read uh, today we will be talking about net zero how we stop causing climate change by peter hell uh, he is a professor at oxford university and have written on climate change extensively in last 30 years uh, overall awareness on climate change has increased a lot ironically in last 30 years we consume more fossil fuel than entire 19th century and that's the world we live in uh, pre industrial uh, carbon presence in environment was 275 ppm today it's more than 400 uh, the central idea net zero uh, deter help means uh, that by by net zero he means that industrial and natural carbon sequestration must be more than our carbon emissions by 2050 and that's the uh, basic concept of uh, net zero the question is if our generation is not going to exhaust uh, fossil fuels uh, if net zero is going to cost us lot of money why do we do that uh, simple answer is it's our moral responsibility our unrestricted consumption has led to the uh, climate crisis and also if we want to continue uh, inhabit earth we must uh, march towards net zero goal to achieve net zero uh, dieter hell talks about three way uh, approach one is decarbonization through carbon tax uh second is heavy investment in r&d and technologies and third is ensuring all the activities have a net environmental gain uh he talks about carbon tax simply because including carbon price in all the things that we consume the clothes that we are wearing the phone uh, on which we are uh, shooting or the energy that we are using must include price of carbon emission which will make things expensive but that's the uh, only way to fund net zero investment uh, he talks about carbon tax at the border all the goods that are being imported must have carbon tax uh, we see uh, uh, this already happening in european union european union has recently uh, said they would be uh, putting a carbon tax on aluminium fertilizer cement steel and petrochemicals so that that has already started also the case for carbon tax uh, rather than carbon credit is strong uh, deter helm talks about carbon credit failure in context of european union because it was politicized it was prone to lobbying and it was prone to bribes in context of carbon tax since it's a tax it can be uniformly collected and there is a less chances of politicizing it or corruption or lobbying so that's why he strongly uh, talks about carbon tax inside the country and as well as carbon tax on a goods that are being imported in the country the revenue that is generated from the carbon tax can go into fund r&d activities because transitioning to net zero involves heavy investment in creating green infrastructure creating green energy and to fund this carbon tax is necessary also government intervention in creating uh, green infrastructure and investment in r&d is necessary because private company will come into sector where they can make profit and if we want to achieve net zero it's a public good and public good cannot always be a profitable venture and that's why government has to come in a uh, third principle of uh, uh, deter help is ensuring all the activities have net environmental gains uh, in context of india we can uh, see example uh, today companies buy epr credits if companies can go beyond epr credits and ensure that there is a investment 
in plastic collection there is there are investment in improving lives of uh, informal waste workers that will ensure that there is a net environmental gain uh, so these are the three principles that uh, Dieter Hill talks about the net zero goal is not possible without china uh, in last 40 years china has seen tremendous growth its gdp has increased 38 times uh, today china consumes more coal than entire world combined together china is responsible for 28 percent of overall carbon emissions uh, india is at one fourth uh, at seven percent and us is half of china at about 15 percent so if we really want to achieve net zero involvement and buy-in from china is a must reading net zero will definitely enhance your understanding about why we need net zero and how do we achieve that so i hope you some of you will try and uh, read this book through climate change reads we are trying to start conversation on most important challenge that we all face so please consider sharing this among your network thanks